Well, my fascination with this project has to do with, um, first of all, always goes with the script. Um, and behind, behind the Candelabra was simply one of the best screenplays I'd seen in a long time. Always been a big fan of Richard Legravenet's. So you read a really good script, and they're asking you to play Liberace, um, which you don't get a chance to do every other day. Uh, and then, oh, by the way, Steven Soderbergh uh, is going to be directing it. And, uh, oh, yes, and your co-star and your lover is Matt Damon. Liberace was a, was at one time the, the biggest, uh, the biggest star probably in, in America. Certainly he was in Las Vegas, the highest paid performer. He was a very, very good pianist, a, a, a great classical pianist, um, but realized by changing the classic versions of certain pieces, it, it became much more entertaining for an audience. And he progressively developed kind of a campy style with the candelabra candles on the piano. And when he did his TV show, he was the first person on television to look directly into the camera to bring that audience into, uh, into the room with him. And, and he had a generally very optimistic and, and, and positive, uh, warm personality and, and was, was, was very astute, very smart. And, and um, he just a actually liked a lot of a lot of men who like, uh, you know, young blondes, girls, Lee loved young blonde guys, you know? Very quickly, we, I think we both found um, uh, kind of a, a style together and um, knew that we had, you know, the script called for us to be attracted to each other. And once you have your first big kiss and break the ice, you know, and look and give each other a hug and say, here we go, buddy. And um, I must say, because everybody always asks me, well, do you, you, you kiss Matt Damon? I said, baby, I do a lot more than that. And I said, <laughs> well, he, he vehemently uh, protected and defended the fact that he was not gay. He separated his performance, which was extremely well rehearsed and very disciplined, um, to his private life. And uh, he was very hospitable, a great entertainer, loved to, very generous every, to, to, to everybody, ex extremely generous, and, and liked to have a good time, liked to be up, liked positive people around, did not like friction, you know, did not like friction. Um, and when he loved somebody, he exuded and lauded them with gifts and bangles as he did as he did with Scott. Well, fortunately, there's a, a tremendous amount of uh, old footage of performances of Liberace. I'm not a piano player, but then it became a question of, you know, play back the piece on the piano and you, you get your, you know, you, you see where the hand settings are and you just gradually do it over and over and over again until you are playing the, um, the piece without actually playing the piece, but your hands are where they should be. And a lot of the pieces, your hands are moving so fast that it's even impossible to tell uh, what's going on. But this behind the candelabra, was about the relationship of Scott and and Lee, not not a bio on on Liberace and, and his piano playing, although that was definitely a part. Well, this is an intriguing story because it's a great love story, um, and people are, I think, always love a good love story. The fact that it takes place between two men. You know, the issues that they deal with, what happens are completely universal. And we sort of realized that as we were making it. And the fact is between Matt and I, 
uh, I was think I think I'm most proud about and Matt is that you, you forget about us pretty quickly, and you pretty quickly also forgets two guys, and you're just watching about a relationship between two people who love each other a lot, but whether they're men and men or a man and a woman, they're having the the same kind of struggles and in, in, in same fights. Um, but of course, it's all told against a great, colorful background backdrop of Las Vegas and a pretty exciting time. <laughs>